welcome back to my youtube channel my name is muhammad sani so in this video all you'll be learning is how to create good looking covers for your books because that's the first thing a customer sees and if your book cover is not looking good at all they won't even proceed to click it and if they don't click your book you have automatically lost that sale and that is why you need to make sure that for every book you publish you create a good looking cover for it now it doesn't matter whether you're using your smartphone or your laptop okay all you just need to do is follow the instructions i'll be giving in this video now it also doesn't matter if you are using the pro version of canva or the free version but in this video i'll be using the free version for the benefits of those who don't have access to the pro version of canva okay so now let's get right into it let me show you guys how to create um, good looking covers for your books now this is for the kindle format i'll also be showing you guys how to create the paperback format and the hardcover format all right so let's get right into it the first thing you need to do is come to canva just like i said i'll be using the free version in this video so let's go to canva.com okay canva.com and you are here so once you are on this page the next thing you need to do is just click on create a design and you come to this place where book cover is written then you are working with 1410 by 2250 pixels that is the ideal size for kindle format cover okay so let's click that now there are two methods to create these covers you can either use templates already made templates and just you know readjust them to to fit what you want to publish your book on or you can even use the i call it the um copy method all right i'll be showing i'll be explaining all of this later in the video so you can see we are here now you can see different templates okay all you just need to do is select a template that fits the kind of topic you want to publish a book on so let's assume you want to publish a book on um let's say you want to publish a cookbook okay on mediterranean diet for example you can just go through these templates and look for a template that has you know that matches what you want to publish a book on so let's look for a template that is similar to that of a cookbook okay i think i saw one up let's yes i think in this one so let's assume we want to work with this one now okay now you know that all these things here they are for camp, especially this background so what you need to do is just you know change this background so let's go to pexels.com this is a website where you can get copyright free images okay you can use them in your background you can even use them in your book okay so let's assume that you want to publish a book on mediterranean diet mediterranean diet or mediterranean food whichever one i see different pictures here and all these pictures are free you can use any of them at all you can use any of them any of them you can select any one you like so let's assume i select uh this one okay let's assume i select this one right so all i just need to do is click this download button and let's wait for it to start downloading you can see it has already downloaded so all i just need to do is go back here then click on upload and i just go to my file location and just just upload it now let's wait for it to upload okay it's still uploading let's wait for it to finish uploading and we are in so all i just need to do is drag and drop okay sorry let's remove this first so let's click that then let me just delete okay then let's delete that okay sorry what am i doing okay let me just uh replace and that's it you automatically replace the background with your own image now what you just need to do now is change this um write-ups here to the title of your book and the subtitle so let's assume that the title of your book is mediterranean diet right so you just type mediterranean diet mediterranean i think is that the spelling i don't even know okay let's say mediterranean diet and let's reduce the font size so that it will fit 
okay that's okay and this smaller ones here you can just change it to whatever you that's your subtitle for example let's say your subtitle is how to prepare it so you just type how to prepare it to prepare how to prepare it you're good to go now what you just need to do is just come here you can change this one to the pen name okay let's assume that your pen name is blue green okay let's assume that your pen name is blue green and that's it you can even remove or if you like you can just um just change it here instead of putting your pen name here you can just go ahead to put that pen name here since they've already written a, re a recipe book by you can just add blue green okay let's say blue green and then you can even remove all these things if you don't want them all the excess um write-ups and all you can just remove them you can see just like that you've gotten a very very good book cover down there's nobody who will look at this cover and see that this cover is not good okay the cover is okay and all you just need to do you can resize it if you want okay you can resize all the, all of these things you can even increase the font size if you want you can can increase the font size and all those things you can even change the font color and everything and once you are done all you just need to do is come to the share button and you go to download and if it's kindle format always download the jpeg format because that's the recommended format for kindle version and all you just have to do is click on download and let's wait for it to download okay that's downloaded so let's look at our work you can see you've gotten a very good book cover for your book very very simple so you don't have to stress yourself you don't just follow all the simple instructions just follow the simple instructions i just gave and you'll be able to create a good book cover for your book so now let's go to the second method which is the copy method so in this method what you're going to be doing is going to amazon okay as if you're trying to do your normal research okay let's go to amazon let's say amazon bestsellers okay then you come to this website this one that has zgbs because that's the website you're coming to this one then let's click on that link then you scroll down go down to kindle store okay then go to kindle ebooks all right so you can select any of the niche okay what you're just looking for is books that have good looking covers which you can copy copy the format okay it doesn't mean you're copying everything including the pen name and the title of everything no I'm just trying to get something nice you're trying to use a format to design something nice for your book so let's enter history for example so you just have to go through and look for covers that you know covers that are good that you know you know that we fit what you're trying to publish so now let's assume you want to do something like this the art of war okay let's assume that you also you also want to publish a book on history right and you want to design something like this for your cover so all you just have to do is very it's very very simple all you just have to do is come to canva right then once you come to canva then you go to book cover okay now in this case you are not selecting any template at all all right you're not selecting any template so let's go back and see what was done okay it was kind of like divided here into red okay half part of the page is red the other side is i think milk milk color so what you need to do is come to elements right then go to ships and select ships okay so i think it was kind of like tilted so let's tilt it a little okay so now let's stretch let's stretch okay let's stretch and then let's bring it down i think it looks something it looked like like this i think something like this i think something like this was done so let's select a color that matches it okay so let's go back to the cover we're trying to copy i think we've done something like this you can see it has been done very very easy very very easy so you can just go back now the other part okay let's um 
let's tilt this a little because I, I consider it was tilted a little like this something like this okay so let's bring it down so you can see we've done something exactly like this so the next thing you need to do now is come back here okay and then select a background color i think it was milk right let's select a color it's kind of like milk i think it's something like this you can see we've just copied what was here now the next thing we need to do is um insert a circle okay insert a circle so you can just come here then go to insert shapes again and click the circle shape right so you can resize it if you want resize it so let's change the color of the circle to ash so that it will look different so it to look different there you can see we've done something like now you can also can go click on see all to see all the kind of shapes that are available okay all the kinds of shapes that are available you can see different kinds of shapes are available there so you can see we've just done something like like this one here now the next thing we need to do is just um put our font like let's say the title of our book here so let's go back and let's click text let's say add a heading okay you can just let's bring it up okay let's bring it up okay let's assume that the um title of our book is history of america let's say for example history of america okay so let's let me extend this a little now you can reduce the font size okay so that it won't okay let's highlight everything here yeah, you can reduce the font size if you want you can also increase the font size if you want you can also increase the font size if you want okay then just let's just shift it a little you can also change the font style there are a lot of font styles just have it at the back of me that if you are not using the pro version some of some of the font styles won't be accessible to you but there's no problem there are other good looking font styles that you can use like this one okay you can use this one you can also use this one you can use this one so there are so many font styles that you can use okay let's assume i use um okay let's say this one let's assume i use this one let's resize it a little and then let's bring it here that's it okay then we can write down our um author name here let's see what was done on the other book okay i think two lines okay the name was just written so let's go ahead to write the name so let's say we're using a subheading this time around and let's bring it down and then let's write our pen name there which is um let's say blue green okay blue green so let's change the font color to white don't forget you can also change the font color okay you can also change the font color let's say that's our um the name okay for our cover blue green then you can also do the same the same thing that was done here you can see i think lines were drawn below and above it you can also do the same thing just um come here and click elements now select a line right you can see a line has been drawn you can also increase the thickness of the line you can reduce the thickness of the line all you just need to do is come here line style if you want the line to be very thick you just have to adjust this see the line is getting thicker and thicker okay and you can also extend the line you can also extend the line okay i can also duplicate so in this case we're duplicated so let's bring that one down Okay, let me zoom in a little okay so now you can just drag this up a little and drag this down i can also change the color of the line I think, um, yes you can also change the color of the line okay you can change the color of the line 
so we just come here and click this other one and also do the same thing you can see we've also done the same thing that was done here so it's very easy to do all these things all now all you just need to do is look for an image that's if you want to add an image to yours okay in this place if you want to add an image so let's say for example i want to go to pexels again okay that website where you can get copyright free images and let's look for any image okay let's see um let me just see um abraham lincoln for example let's say abraham abraham lincoln okay so you can just download any of these images and use it in that place now I'll also show you guys now you can't just download an okay you can download an image you can decide to put it directly if you want you can cut out the image you can even cut out the cut out the image if you want so let's assume that i want to use this one for example so i just download it okay let's wait for it to download it will start downloading now okay you've downloaded it so what you just need to do is come to google and um, search for background remover background okay let me come here mm -hmm, you can see so i suggested it from background remover so you come to this website that has um remove.bg that's the first link okay the first link so you click on this link you will know it's open a page where you and you can see it is 100 percent free so you don't have to pay any money you can upload any image here and remove the background so let's carry out an experiment so that you see it yourself so let's click upload image so i just come here and click on that picture i just downloaded and i upload it now let's wait for it to finish uploading and let them also remove the background okay you can see the background has been removed so all I, all I just need to do is click on download i've downloaded it so let's go back to our design okay so let's go to uploads and click on upload file now for every file that the background was removed you also you will see an extension of remove bg so that's the one you are working with so you just click that and click open now let's wait for the image to finish uploading let's wait. okay that's finished uploading so I, all i just need to do is drag and drop okay so let's resize it so can decide to use the image that's it you can see you just you know just even though it's not um exactly the same but you just created something similar something like this so you can also now you can see the background here is black so let's um change our circle to black also the color of our circle let's change it to black so you can see we've just you know created something that looks like like this one so this is the copy method where you just look for good looking covers and try to create something similar and as you are doing this you are also improving on your design skills and it will make you more creative so i hope you guys have learned how to create good looking covers for your books and i'll see you guys in the next video